Okay, so basically uh, we're out here in the shop and we're working on some LLY Duramax 300% over stuff. And it's not really, uh, it's not a standard recipe. So it's gonna be a six hole 300% over size wise nozzle. And we've been working on this, tuning this program for about an hour. So in a second, I'll show you guys what the inside of it looks like with just a little bit of extrude hone We've also used the AFM machine. We got some new media for the AFM this morning. We've already tried looking, we, we wanted to use that. It's fast, it's very accurate, uh, but we're struggling with that still. So we're not gonna be able to use that tool because it's not absolute and perfect yet. We've already been in contact with them and they're gonna, they're gonna tune the media some more. Mm -hmm. uh, so Skylar, you pop six holes in two parts now. Yep. We've edited that program a little bit. Do you want to tell them kind of like what it is you did and why we did it? So basically we start with a blank nozzle when we're doing this. Um, so obviously we have the ability to move the holes around where we want. Um, so I threw one in there, burnt it, went over to our, uh, our bore scope over there, looked inside of that thing. The holes, they were pretty decent for the first nozzle, but there was definitely some fixing we could have done there. So which I went in there is I took a pin gauge, pinned all the holes, and basically, so basically we can get the spread of all the orifices the same amount all the way through 360 in that nozzle. So basically what we're doing is we're using a very small sack and this sack diameter doesn't support really, really, really big wire. And since this is a 300% over nozzle, we're gonna be, we're gonna be using about 90% of what this sack can actually give us anyways. So before any AFM or extrude hone, this was like 56 liters 56, a minute. yeah. And we usually get these things about 65 and it's pretty well maxed out. Yep. So the reason why it's so critical and the reason why we have to tweak this thing by a half thou or even a thou is because we want inside when the, if, if we've got our nozzle, nozzle sack, and we're gonna come in and we're gonna burn, if we don't get on the outside of the nozzle, we're gonna see a hole, we're gonna see a hole, we're gonna see a hole, we're gonna see a hole. On the inside, when we shove the bore scope inside of that, if that wire isn't tra straight and true to itself all the way around, which that table is gonna rotate around in a perfect 360, but the nozzle is floating just a little tiny bit because it's on some guide pins. And when that wire goes in, since we're trying to use so much of it, it the next one over, if it comes in at a bit of an angle, it really starts to crowd in on itself and we don't want that. So ultimately, whenever we're gonna do these really big custom things, yeah, you get eight nozzles, but we may ruin two or three getting it there. Uh, and then we, of course, we save the program, but when you're tuning things by a half thou, it, you've got to really pay attention. So the bigger the part, the more critical we need to be and Matt, if you can come around here and take a look at this little uh, circle. So that hole is something that we EDM'd and then we deburred this face right here. And by deburring that face, we're gonna get the most amount of fuel coming out with, and we want that to be as, as just cylindrical as possible. We just checked that and uh, that thing, we were able to lay a point on every one of those. We got 43 out of 43 points and it was, uh, point zero 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 two from being completely perfectly round so ultimately that's that's an extremely round hole with a very nice dang near perfect part but using the afm we weren't getting those results so again the extrude hone machine it may be old and it may be slower but it's really really good like it's taken us years of tweaking media to get that stuff to be that good. And this new tool is gonna be the exact same way. We're doing things with an AFM that OEM factories aren't. And although our desire is to go to completely to the AFM because plugging in the, the desired flow rate and letting the machine completely do that, 
takes all the human air out of it. So it would be nice if we get there someday. It's just, uh, this is now our third or fourth batch of media that's been in that machine. We're still not there yet. So we're gonna be sending media back out today, letting them change it and see if we can get it to be dialed in. So this is one, we should just blow that out and show them what we're looking at yeah, on the yep. inside probably. This is the one that we did a little bit of extrude hunt in. No, this That's is. That's that one. Show you. All right, so looking at this monitor right here, right up there, say 11 to 12 o'clock, we've got like a lot of meat in between those two spray holes. And then down around one or two o'clock, it gets a little bit thin right there. So Skylar just edited that and he's trying to move that one hole just a little tiny bit so we can get that distance in between those spray orifices to be as close to being exactly perfect as possible. So you just did that and did. now bear in mind this was really shiny and really clean because we already ran a little bit of extrude on through it. So that is darker. That's EDM work only, no extrude hone. And that looks really, really, really it is good. Definitely a lot better. Yep. So we're a lot closer here than what that was. In an OEM application, there is so much room for error. Mm -hmm. This this sack would come from the OEM. A diameter of sack this size would be 17 liters of air up to about 24, 26 mm -hmm. liters of air, and we're now at 65, 66, pushing 70. So we need to optimize all the real estate in there. So in the OEM application, we, we look in these things all the time and they're not accurate, but it doesn't matter because there's so much bloody real estate in there for those little tiny pieces of wire. It just fits easy. Yep. Uh, with, with doing this custom stuff, we're, it takes us time to get it all dialed in. But once it's done, it's done correctly. And uh, so that's, that's now, this is our third uh, edit. Yep, third. So we've got better than an hour into basically tuning this program three times already so far. And we haven't made a part yet for the customer except for this one, this will fly. But it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be a really good deal. Yep, for sure. All right, well, there you go.